Is it getting hot where you're staying? It's starting to get hot where I'm staying. So I'm going to show you how I control the temperature in my van as best as can be done. Be back in a minute. travel in my van Daisy with my 13 year old Chihuahua Piglet and I have been traveling in my van since the first weekend in November of 2023 so it's been about six months now. The last two months I have spent at the Satine Alpaca Farm in Snowflake, Arizona. You can see the alpacas behind me. Um, the owner of the farm, Bob, is my best bud, and he's been nice enough to let me stay here. And uh, he's uh, also been keeping me company. I enjoy his company a lot. So he uh, let me set up my camp here. Let me show it to you. As you can see, I have kind of made myself a home here. I have a little uh, fire pit, and then we'll be uh, roasting marshmallows and make s'mores occasionally in the evenings and then Bob had this uh, little Weber grill that's missing a wheel but we made a makeshift <laughs> wheel with a piece of wood there so it sits level and so we can cook steaks and hamburgers and hot dogs and stuff and so it's worked out pretty good and I have my Starlink set up over there and got my little rug and my chairs and I have a little camp stove that I put on that uh, table on the end there by the grill. And uh, I make coffee in the mornings out here. I have a cooktop inside. It's a induction cooktop, but uh, it stopped working about a month or so ago and uh, they're shipping me a new one and I sh it should be here next week so I'll be replacing that myself it's just it just kind of drops in the hole there so it should be pretty easy to do but uh, today is one of the warmer days that we're having recently um, yesterday was beautiful 74 degrees was the high and it still got a little hot but today is going to be 80 and I'm trying not to run my air conditioner, so I thought, you know what, I think I should share some information about how I keep my van cool in warmer temperatures. As you know, a van is kind of like a tin can, and when it gets hot outside, it gets even hotter inside the van. So when I woke up this morning about 7... 7.45 I think I woke up. Um, the temperature was already 80 degrees in the van and it was only 67 outside. So I hopped up and opened all the windows and turned the fans on and that cooled it down a little bit. Uh, I mean it's not super cool inside but it's comfortable enough to not have to turn on the air conditioner. So first let me show you um, what the back door looks like here. I have uh, screens, um, both the slider door and the back door to keep the bugs out, and it works pretty well. You, and you can see, you know, it, it doesn't obstruct the view or anything, so I can, you know, enjoy the view from, from inside the van there. And then I have another one of these screens over here on the slider side and I don't use it unless I have to keep the doors open because it is not the easiest thing to go in and out of it has it does have a little handle here so you can pull it open but if you've got an arm full of things that you're transferring outside to cook with uh, it's not all that easy to deal with so I, I don't put it out unless I'm in a situation where I have to keep the, the fans going in the, you know, it gets too hot in the van. So here's my uh, 
max fan up here and you can see <laughs> all the red dirt that it sucked up through there. I tried back, uh, getting it off with the vacuum cleaner, but that didn't work too good. And I'm not, I'm not sure if this comes out. So if anyone knows how to get that uh, screen out of there, I really would like to clean it properly. I'm sure someone knows how to do it. I'm just, I don't want to break it. So I'm afraid to tug on it too hard. So I have, you know, the windows open here. And then I have two small crank open windows here in the back, one here. And then there is one behind that uh, television and the screen there. I don't really open that one because I don't really, I, I haven't no noticed that it makes much of a difference. So, and then uh, I started opening the back up here since it is getting so hot. Normally I, I keep that back shut. But, so with just the fan and having the windows open, um, it's been pretty comfortable in here today. But I did want to show you, on my fan, I have this system. It's called the uh, AGS system, Automatic Generator System. So that if I do want to run the air conditioner, I can turn this AGS system on and if I decide to run the air conditioner, all I got to do is go turn the air conditioner on and in a couple of minutes it will kick on and then, well, the generator will kick on and then the air conditioner will start running. So, as I mentioned, I don't like to run the air conditioner because it uses a lot of propane. And I just filled up the other day and I've already used 85% because I still have to run the furnace at night because it does get cold here. This is high desert area. We're at about 6,000 feet. So yeah, it still gets cold at night here. So if you notice, it is 83 degrees and I still have the heat turned on. So I'm just gonna turn everything off. 83 degrees is a little warm. I don't know if you can hear that, but the fan just turned off. So what I'm going to do is shut all the windows, and I'm going to just turn on the air conditioner so you can see that it starts up automatically. Uh, the generator will start up automatically, so the air conditioner will run. So let's close up all these uh, windows here. I'm going to go around the back here and shut the back windows the back doors rather whoops I didn't shut that very good okay I'm just going to leave the screen down. I know it's kind of hard to shut the door with it down. And I'm going to shut this crank window. Shut the crank window back here. And now I'm going to set the temperature at 78, which sounds kind of hot, but it actually gets pretty cold in here when it's set to that. So now I'm going to turn the air air conditioner on. You can see the AGS is enabled and in a couple of minutes the generator will kick on. Oh, it didn't didn't start. That happens occasionally. Let's start it over again. The 
The generator also will kick on when the battery gets to 40% or below. Okay, so you can see the generator is running. And in a couple of minutes, the air conditioner will kick on. Go back to the home page. Now you will be able to tell when the air conditioner comes on because it is really loud. And that is another reason I don't like to run it. Okay, so the air conditioner kicked on. And I'm going to open this up. Cool it off a little bit faster back here. But you can see how loud it is. I find it hard to watch television when the air conditioner is running. I have to turn the sound up so loud that I think all the neighbors can probably hear it. <laughs> So, I can cool the van down when it gets really hot outside, but I don't like to do that for extended periods of time. So, it is starting to warm up here in Snowflake. And, uh, today's an 80 degree day. It's supposed to be 83 tomorrow. And I think it, it'll cool off slightly in the next few days, but I will be leaving the end of May and heading to northern New Mexico where the weather is a bit cooler there. I also plan to stop in Springer where I have the hotel building that I opened an art gallery in. It was the Brown Hotel building, uh, which I sold last summer and bought this van with uh, some of the proceeds. So I'm going back to visit friends there and uh, uh, visit, uh, meet the new owners of the hotel building. So, uh, I'll be filming all that when I go do it. <laughs> so, I hope you join me for that. I hope this was helpful. See you next time.